Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our legs. Of course, we are going to keep it short and intense. There is not much you need to do when it comes to... I mean, you need to do a lot, but you don't need to do a lot of variety to train your legs. You can keep it simple, keep the intensity high and the results will fall in. So, yes, of course, we are going to start with the dynamic stretching. Hardly takes 4 to 5 minutes. Always pre workout routine. I do the greatest stretch for 4 to 5 repetitions. Then I sit in a deep squat for at least 10 to 15 seconds, feeling my hip mobilities, checking if there's any kind of restrictions, any kind of you know tightness in my lower back, regardless of which body part I'm working with. This is something as a routine which I follow. Post completing those, I also added one more. I would not say it as a stretching part, but as a routine to do a bird dog pose to kind of build my core strength. It's like a training. It's, it's simply can't do it all, but at least it helps me in training my core and trying to engage it a lot more before I start with my lifts, especially the compound lifts. So yes, bird dog pose five times each side holding for 5 to 10 seconds. The ideal would be holding it for 10 seconds each side and making sure that you stay in absolute good posture while performing the exercise without causing any kind of imbalance. And yes, after that we can start with the exercises. For the first exercise, I'm going to go with the reverse lunges. I have done two sets of warm-up wherein I've done 10 to 15 repetitions with each leg, either with without any weight if you feel that you know this is something which you are slowly learning into or you can add 5 or 10 kilos on each side depending upon the maximum repeti uh, weight which you can move so ideally you should go about 20 to 30 percent of that in warm-ups at least so yes easy reverse lunges on smith machine where why on smith machine because yes it is a lot more control and i can push a lot more explosively get the depth also as you can see i have slightly increased the height of my front foot by maybe about two or three inches just a little bit to get a little bit more depth i'm experimenting to see which muscle does it uh, touch a lot more if i do that but otherwise it's a simple lunge nothing special with good enough weight and going as explosively as possible while pushing up and then coming down completely feeling the stretch down and then moving back up Make sure you try to go as close to your max weight, which is about maybe 70 to 80%. You don't have to go all 90, 100%. That's it. We are done with this exercise. Then we can go on to the machine exercises, wherein I am doing the hamstring curls, three sets, 20 repetitions, slow and controlled repetitions. The control is much more at the eccentric part of it. I try to go about two to three seconds. And once my legs start fatiguing, then I decrease the uh, duration of the repetitions so it's something which you can definitely try out in terms of building the strength and building volume when it comes to the eccentric portion of the muscle especially the stretched portion uh, portion of any exercise as such three sets 20 repetitions you might take a longer break because the lunges if done explosively will take you out of breath and your legs will be sore and you will be tired so while doing the hamstring curls which is even though a equipment based exercise might tire you out very quickly if done like I am doing with long eccentric hold downs. So take 60 seconds as a baseline rule. It's not compulsory. You can take longer breaks as long as you recover quickly from your, uh, I would say, at least cardiovascularly. Post completing the hamstring curls, I wanted to finish off my quads. So again, three sets, 20 repetitions of leg extensions. Easy exercise to do, simple, gives you a great pump. You can do it as a pre-fatigue, you can do it as a finisher. So I like these. I One more thing which I always keep mentioning is to make sure your legs go all the way down. So set up the equipment in such a way that you get that stretch on your quads. Always hold on to the seat, whichever way you're comfortable. So you're planted in the seat, you're not moving, you're not bouncing around. The weight, you should be able to control the eccentric 
part you can up the weight if you don't want to do the control eccentric you can definitely go heavier i can do that too but i want to focus for some more time on the eccentrics so yes that is the reason why i keep the weight in a controlled level now you may choose to do another hamstring exercise you may also choose to do a little bit of calf work for me this is more than sufficient i do the calf work on regular basis or at least on the days when i'm not doing my legs so that's fine you can add a core workout but otherwise three exercises if done at the right intensity should fry your legs out you should have an amazing pump and the soreness will set in after a day or two now to finish off we are going to do regular static stretches so holding the quad stretch for 15 to 20 seconds each leg and then hamstring stretch for 15 to 20 seconds now you may also prefer to do uh, use a foam roller to release muscle tension a little bit more you can use foam roller for 15 to 20 seconds on each leg on muscle hamstrings and quads so the entire static stretching might take two to three minutes could be a good ending or a cool down session for your leg workout so that's it for today thank you so much for watching the video i hope you like the workout simple and easy just keep the intensity high if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback in the comment section is greatly appreciated i hope the new workout routine is making more sense i especially am experiencing a little bit of more muscle pump a little bit of more strength gains so i hope that's the case with you also thank you once again i'll see you in the next video till then take care have a good day